Hello everybody, this is Buddy Webb, Midland, Texas. Uh, today's video uh, is going to be about the, the Cody Mercer murder, which uh, Cody was a, uh, a young man from Odessa, Texas that died on November 1st, 2011, uh, 31 years old. And uh, I, I had a, a woman tell me that the reason that that Cody was murdered is because he knew about the Haley Dunn murder, the 13-year-old famous missing murdered child from Colorado City, Texas, uh, that that uh, that made national news. And and so the people involved in the murder of of Haley were was worried that Cody was going to snitch on them, and that's why they killed him. And and so uh, uh, I'm going to show you. I've just collected all the you know different bits and pieces of evidence I found, and uh, uh, you know put it together. And and I want to show you here. I think if we, if we can solve the the murder of Haley Dunn, which I think should be solved, then uh, you know it, then uh, then well it'll lead back to the people that also killed Cody Mercer. And I'm going to show you that here in a minute. Here's his obituary, and it you know here's a picture of him first right there. And he, I guess his nickname was Dookie and uh, passed away there uh, November 1st, 2011, born in Odessa to D Danny Ray and Debbie Kay uh, Mercer. He worked in construction. His dad was in the Navy, uh, grew up in Washington. He survived by his parents, Danny and Debbie Mercer. His sister was Jennifer Mercer. I have a print screen from Jennifer. I'm going to show you. And then a uh, brother-in-law was Nolan Crowder, Odessa. His grandparents, Bob and Mary Tinney of Midland, and paternal grandparents, C.L. and Myrtle Mercer of Odessa. Odessa, and then three nephews, Tyler, CJ, and Gavin Crowder. If y'all know them, you might want to share this video with them, and uh, you know, and and so that they maybe put pressure on law enforcement, and then get this murder solved. Because whoever murdered Cody is still free to this day. We know that. I, I did a Facebook post, and and that's a good way to. To lay it out in order of, of this, you know, this person said this, this person said that. And it started here, and this was right from the Odessa American. You can see it, OAOA.com. Sheriff Office still investigating murder, Mercer's death as a homicide. Investigation of suspected homicide, a 31-year-old Cody Wayne Mercer, okay. And uh, it said the suspected homicide of 31-year-old Cody Mercer is still ongoing, said Donaldson. It said previously Mercer's body was reported at 8.49 p.m. November 1st, 2011, after a truck driver found his body 10 feet off the side of the road on FM 554. I think that's by Gardendale. Multiple people told me that the same people connected with this murder were also connected with the murder of 13-year-old Haley Dunn. Okay, so that gets us started. And you can go Google that, and you can look up that news story and you know find you know research this yourself but i want to show you here my computer was kind of messing up if i clicked on them screenshots i couldn't back out so i had to redo the way i was making this video but what i'm going to do is read this to you what i wrote these are print screens of conversations from two different people keep that in mind not one person but two people and it wasn't buddy said they said i have it. i have a print screen proven they said it and i recorded a third person telling me these murders were recorded and the police had the videos and we're going to talk about what i mean by the video so i'm going to show you first all this first one okay and uh, that's the one okay and so here's print screens from a brandy dunn okay and she's writing me she says uh yeah i know she was at brooke owensby's house I have just figured that out. I have more info than you could imagine. And I wrote back and I said, so you know what happened to Haley? And she says, uh, she says, I'll give it. So you, if, so if you put a press release that some of the names had nothing to do with this. Okay. So she's wanting me to, what she called press release. She wanted me to post on my Facebook that Casey Frizee and Dustin Braddock said they were not there. And, uh, and Casey was in prison at the time. And of course the questions in that, how do they know when that Haley was murdered? So how do they know Casey was in prison or not? I, that that's a whole nother part of the story. But anyway, that's what she was friends with with them two people, Dustin Braddock, Casey Frizee, and then you'll see by other people have said that they were there when Haley was killed. But yes, I pretty much know it all. Okay, so this is Brandy. So law enforcement should be talking to Brandy. If you have information which refutes the multiple witnesses that I have, I'd be glad to share that. Because, like I said, I have recorded phone calls, you know, that that are that had named them people and others. Brandy says there's a video of it. The cops have it, and I'm like, there's a video. Of what? Haley's murder? 
Brandy says, yes, it was a video of Cody Mercer's murder. The cops have both. And I said, that's interesting. I didn't know who that is. Was he murdered there too? Yes, he was. Look it up. I find it as interesting. Hey, so I just want to show you how Cody's murder. There's a person, Brandy, telling me that Cody's murder is connected to Haley Dunn's murder. And multiple people have told me that. But I've had three different people tell me that that video exists and the police have the video. And not the good police, the corrupt kind, okay? And, and there's a difference between bad cops and good cops. So Jessica Lee Hadley, here she's a whole different person, another conversation, and she tells me, yeah, uh, there was a boy named Cody, and he was abducted, tied up, beaten, savagely raped by four individuals. These individuals belonged to a certain gang in Odessa. And, and I believe that gang, it's either Aryan Brotherhood or the Aryan Circle, uh, one of them. Uh, other people have named them. That's not Buddy saying, but because, you know, Buddy is just collecting evidence to try to solve these murders that I think are going to connect back to the crimes at my house and the capital attempted murder on my house. Okay. And so she goes on and she's talking about Midland Odessa and a ring of pedophiles that actually run and maintain a Midland Odessa and the police corruption, et cetera, all the way to the feds is what is what Jessica's saying. And then I, I write and I said, it sounds like you're talking about Cody Mercer and this woman named Brandy said that the same people who murdered Haley also killed him. She also said there were video of it and the cops had it. So I'm telling Jessica what Brandy had told me and I've already showed you that. And Jessica replies back. She says, yeah, that's correct. They videotaped the whole thing. It's disgusting, and it's absolutely true. So at that point, we have two people that saying these murders are tied together, and two people saying that they were videotaped, and uh, and, and and that the police have them. And there's a third person I know that also told me that 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 video exists and the police have it. And so we're gonna go back and. Um, the next comment here is drug rehab counselor Christy Smith Ott sent me a copy of, of her re resignation letter, which she sent to her supervisors at Turning Point over in Odessa. That's a drug rehab place. And she told me that he, Brett Bushman, had confessed to his involvement in three homicides besides stuffing a child's body in a safe who would be Haley Dunn. I suspected that one of those homicides was Cody Mercer. That's why this is included in here. And I have a video called The Drug Counselor and, and a link there, you know, if y'all want to watch that. I'm going to show you this. Uh, Christy had contacted me on, on YouTube originally and said she'd got the confession from Brett. And then she contacted me on Facebook, sent me a long message, a lot of details, how they how they bent her, broke her, put her in a box, buried on a ranch outside Odessa. I have a print, you know, I have a print screen of Christy. And then she took pictures of her, her computer screen of her resignation letter that she sent to her supervisors, Julie Elliott and Janie Tippett and Ramona Thomas. She, she she carbon copy on it and and it was on christy smith's resignation okay and that's that's how i got it it's christy uh provided this to me and then she was writing to her supervisors and reminding them that he who was brett bushman did have a hand in stuffing its child's body inside of a safe okay and that was Haley dunn's body she's talking about this wasn't to me this was to her supervisors at at, at a drug rehab clinic okay and and then she goes on to say and within 48 hours of his confession of the involvement in three separate homicides. And that's where the reason I put this uh, note in here is because I think one of them homicides is probably Cody Mercer. Okay. And, and she goes on here and talks about Brett being affiliated and affiliation means connected to a gang. And that's what I, I, would, I mentioned a minute ago that I believe this is connected to a gang, you know, and, um, I made the mistake of clicking on that. Oh, man. My computer's messing up here. There we go. Okay, finally come back. Uh, Cody Mercer's sister told me that she heard rumors that the murder of Cody was connected with the murder of Haley Dunn. Okay, instead of me clicking on that, I'm going to go up here because uh, my computer's messing up. It's hackers is what it is. Jennifer Elizabeth Mercer. This is the sister of Cody Mercer. And here she goes. 
Wow. And when did Brooke contact you? Wow. So my brother and Haley Dunn really were killed by the same people. I knew it. And this is the sister of Cody Mercer around the same time, I believe, October 1st, whatever. And, and she goes on again. There had been rumors they were connected, but cops assured us they were not. He was killed uh, October 31st, 2011. Or November first, okay. And then I went on. Brandy said that they had a video and a video of it. And then she tells me they shot him up with a hot shot and dumped him on 554 FM Gardendale Highway. And I and, and I wrote, I wrote I heard he was raped too. What is a hot shot? I now know that a hot shot is is a is like a. a IV drug, a, a hypodermic needle, where they put the, a drug mix in there that is so powerful they know it's going to murder the person that they they inject with it. That's a hot shot. Is there there? It, it's it's like uh, the drug is is very powerful in the in the needle and it kills them. You know that's what it is. I, I probably didn't describe that good, but that's that's what I found that it was. Nicole Newbro seemed to have threatened me as she didn't want anybody asking questions about this murder. That threw up red flags. See, I take print screens. Here's a picture of Nicole and her comments. And no one should speak about Cody Mercer's death unless they have proven facts by law enforcement because, you know, she, she's the keeper of the, uh, you know, of the people of what they can speak and what they can't speak, you know. And everybody has to go through Nicole Newbrower and to ask if you, if you're going to ask a question, ask her or not she's going to sue you you know that literally that's how i read that you know i'm like why is it, who is this person and why is she trying to cover up this murder that's what i want to know michael clemmer told me that he agreed with brandy dunn and he knows bits and pieces of this story so instead of clicking on the picture i'm going to minimize that and i'm going to go look at michael clemmer's comment here as a picture, okay? And that way I can get out of here. Cody, Cody was one of my dear friends. I also agree with Miss Dunn. I know bits and pieces of that story, you know? And I said, sorry for your loss. So uh, the reason I just added that in there is because it was one more person that said he knew parts of the Cody Mercer story. This is the obituary. I've already, I already showed you that. I believe I had uh, who his parents were and all that. And then this last one says, Brooke, Brooke Owenby, threatened me because she didn't want me asking questions about these capital murders. If you remember, it was Brandy Dunn who had documented saying that Haley was killed at her home. She was Cody Mercer's girlfriend, okay? And so I'm going to show you this here, okay? Here's from Brooke Owenby. Now remember, Brandy Dunn, you know, Buddy didn't, you know, Buddy didn't say that, that Cody was killed at Brooke Owensby house. Buddy took a print screen of Brandy Dunn saying it, right? And that seems to be important in news because that's, you know, that's a capital murder. So either one of them's lying, you know, that's what we know. And it's important, but trying to silence me and threaten me and threaten to sue me throws up red flags, you know. And what she did say is Brooke Owenby is the girlfriend of Cody Mercer. Let me get something straight with you. I was Cody Mercer's girlfriend. She was never at my house, you know. I ever laid eyes on her except on TV. I don't do not want to see my name brought up in this again, or I will contact my attorney. That goes for you and Brandy Dunn. And so once again, Brooke Owensby, she don't want her name brought up. And you know, it don't matter if if people are out there saying that Cody Mercer was murdered at her home, you know. And and so I'm the messenger. You know, that's what I always say. I'm the messenger. I guess you're just going to have to sue me. You know, you want to shut me up because I'm I'm taking print screens and, and recording phone calls about capital murders. You sue me. But I think that throws up red flags and maybe you should be investigated yourself, you know, and find out why you're attacking the messenger. If we solve the murder of 13-year-old Haley Dunn, then it may solve the murder of Cody Mercer. The facts show that on March 14, 2013, I wrote the Department of Justice and suggested that they look in the underground homes here for the disappearance of Haley, but they didn't do it, and two days later, her remains were found in Scurry County. Now there are a dozen people documented saying that Haley was killed in Odessa, which is Ector County. One of those dozen was an eyewitness. This includes names, places, and small details such as what she was wearing and how she shaved her head two weeks before she overdosed. That should be plenty of evidence to solve the Haley Dunn murder. Remember that Christy Ott said that Brett Bushman told her he was involved in three homicides, including placing a child's body in a safe. I believe that we'll find out that one of those three homicides 
was Cody Mercer. This is a super. This is the video that I share most of the time for the Haley Dunn stuff. I made many Haley Dunn videos, the Haley Dunn timeline there, and uh, trying to just say this happened on this day, this happened on this day, and uh, and you know, in my whole part of the story was this letter right here. That's where on this email that I sent to the Department of Justice on March 14, 2013. That was a year, uh, you, know, as, you know, a little over a year, year and uh, a couple of months after I was ambushed and shot inside my home. Okay. And and so uh, I'm just going to play just a bit of this right here. I've got it ready, and I want you to listen to this. This is uh, is Sonia Renee Callahan, the eyewitness to the Haley Dunn murder. Uh, uh, you know, I was, I was there at the house, and I seen her, you know, my heart just went down to the floor. What do I do? Either was mine in her life or, or, or mine, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm going to name some names off, and you tell me yes or no. Joe... No. Uh, K-R-O-F-T, David Allison, K-C-F-R-A-C, no, F-R-A-Z-E-E, -E. Kevin Rickman, uh, Dusty Brad Brettick, uh, David Parker, Brooke, Letty, and Billy Phelps. Now, I'm not familiar with them names, uh, I, but I will tell you... And Mark, and, 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 and Okay, so so I re secretly recorded here Sonia Renee Callahan describing the murder of Haley Dunn and naming all these names and 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 it's my understanding most of them are gang members. Rem uh, one of them, as you probably heard, was Casey Frizee, and the other one was Dustin Braddock. And remember that Brandy Dunn wanted me to put out a press release saying that they wasn't there. And and so uh, and Brandy's the one that said that the murder of Haley was filmed along with the murder of Cody Mercer. Okay, and so here's another video I made called Haley. Haley Dunn killed over a drug debt. This is another person that I've never named the person, but I secretly recorded this phone call too, and I want you to listen to this. And it's going to also have names. You know, even through all the craziness and stuff, he he come to me and he was crying and he told me, he said, you know, he said, I'm going to get that son of a bitch. And he's speaking of Max Mays. Um, he wouldn't have told me this yeah. if it wasn't the truth. Um, I can tell you that Letty was the one that her parents owed money to, and it wasn't $135. It was $130, and Max Mays is the one that done it. Hey. I can tell you that Letty mm -hmm. lived in Big Springs, is and she, she's a big-time lady. And Letty made it very clear to these guys that she was tired of people taking advantage of her and that this would be an example of what would happen if these son of a bitches didn't come up with some money. And I'm talking about Haley. Oh, okay, because they didn't pay her that money, okay. Ah, I see. Over $130, that girl was killed so that word would get out. Look here, you know, all you son of a bitches. Um, if I'm going to do it for $130 and it's going to be the woman's daughter, don't think you won't be had for the 5000 that you owe me or... How much ever everybody owes. Yeah. Who all did you hear was there? Um, Casey Frazee, uh, Dustin Braddock, David Allison, Max Mays. Um, oh, here, I've got another one here. Make sure I stop that. And and this is a whole nother person. And notice the names: Casey Frizee, Dustin Braddock, Kevin Ringman. Same names come up. Max Max Mays. All the same names keep coming up by multiple people. Okay. And this, of course, on the Haley Dunn murder. But we believe the Haley Dunn murder is connected to the Cody Mercer murder. And so one more recorded phone call. This wasn't even mine. This is a very. I believe this is the tell-all right here. Haley was walking. I think she was walking to a friend's house. Right. He was crying. 
lying, telling me that he needed to, that he needed me to know. He needed me to know, you know? Yeah. Okay. He got down on his knees and he was crying, and he said that there were these people that owed him some money, and he had to take care of it. And I said, well, Bertie, what did you do? Haley was still missing at the time. Her body hadn't been found yet. She wasn't dead yet. Okay. Oh my God. Um, he got down on his knees and he was telling me that they had gotten Haley for a drug deal, like it's dead. And what this call was from a federal prison. The mom and the boyfriend knew that that was going to happen. And Bertie was like, I'll take care of her for a couple of days. Temporal, I'll get my money back. And that's what he did. He was not this person when I knew him. Okay. This wasn't the Bertie that I knew. Right. He was fucked off on this. Okay. Did they bang dope or smoke it? He banged, he banged dope at that time. But right. I'm here for drugs. I, I did drugs myself, but I didn't do drugs back then. You know what I mean? That's one of the reasons why I left him. But Bertie, he sat there and he was telling me that he got Haley. He kidnapped Haley. Him, Plastic, Ray, uh, him, Plastic. Who is what is Plastic's real Plastic? name? What is Plastic's real name, um, Allison? Uh, Justin Braddock. Yeah, Justin Braddock. I, I want you to get a pen and paper, and I want you to write these names down that I'm getting ready to tell you. Okay, well, do you know that whenever a phone call comes in, it's recorded, so I can go back and listen to everything okay. you say, baby. Okay, perfect. Listen, it's Justin Braddock, Joe Croft, Kevin Rickson, and who else? Yeah. Who? Yeah. David Allison. David Allison. David Allison. Who? David Parker. David Parker. David Parker. The same names over and over and over again. I think it's a very, very possible that that we can solve these murders. And and uh, I've said before that I believe that uh, it's connected to the underground facilities because here at the house and, uh, you know, as I, I contact the Department of Justice. And so, you know, I think we could start, solve multiple murders. Maybe the, the murder of Cody Mercer, the murder of Haley Dunn, the murder of Mike Lahan, the murder of the young girl at the old show party, then the capital tent murder of my life, and probably more of them. And there's just so much evidence here. It's to the point of absurdity. I, I think we can all agree to that. Talk to you later.